And that's just how I think and it's how I practice. And so for my daughter, when we got this diagnosis and I read there's nothing, no treatments are available and there's nothing that can be done other than supportive care, my initial reaction, honestly, outside of like falling to the floor and crying my eyes out and my two-year-old asking me if I needed Band-Aid for, Band-Aids for my eyes because I, mommy was crying, um, her, her older sister, I stood up and said, we have to solve this because no one's tried doesn't mean we can't. And if no one else is going to do it, then maybe we have to. And whether that was the most naive thing on the whole planet, to think that I could do that, to think that I, veterinarian, had the capacity to solve this problem. But I had no idea what research was being done. I had no idea how to develop a gene therapy. I had no idea what it would entail to put a gene in my child's brain. But I just felt it had to be possible because I was not a geneticist and my area of expertise was medical devices. So I had no idea about the background of genetic therapies for humans.